Imagine the year 1475, the Inca royal family wrapped in golden jewelry and vibrant alpaca ponchos, feasting and celebrating in the majestic city of Machu Picchu. Draped in the finest textiles, their attire sparkles with the wealth of an empire, reflecting their high status. The air is filled with the sounds of festivities, feasts, hunts, and sacred ceremonies unfolding under the watchful eyes of the gods. Meanwhile, 750 residents tirelessly maintain this bustling retreat, ensuring that every need of the royals is met. As the royals revel in their winter retreat, the foundation of their vast empire remains rooted in the valley of Cusco. Rewind to around 1100, as the early Inca settlers step into the challenging landscapes of the Cusco Valley. Nestled high in the Andes, this area presented a formidable environment. With infrequent rainfall, growing food was a daunting task, and the scarcity of fertile land sparked intense conflicts among local tribes. By 1300, the Inca, demonstrating resilience and strategic prowess, had managed to conquer nearby tribes. This was not merely a display of military might, but also a testament to their ability to forge alliances and integrate conquered peoples into their burgeoning society. The unification of the Cusco Valley marked a pivotal moment, setting the stage for an era of consolidation and cultural synthesis. Leadership played a crucial role in this ascent. The Inca rulers adeptly centralized power, weaving together a diverse tapestry of cultures and languages into a cohesive state apparatus. This foundation of strong governance and inclusive policies was instrumental in their rise. From these humble beginnings a powerful empire began to emerge, poised for unprecedented expansion. Enter Pachacuti Inca Yupanqui in 1438, a visionary leader who transformed a kingdom into an empire. Ascending to power amidst regional turmoil, Pachacuti's first order of business was an audacious plan to expand his domain far beyond the valleys of Cusco. His leadership style was both bold and transformative. Central to Pachacuti's vision was the establishment of Machu Picchu around 1450. Perched dramatically between misty peaks, this royal estate doubled as a religious sanctuary, embodying the divine right of the Inca rulers and serving as a retreat from the bustling capital. But Pachacuti was not just a builder of cities, he was a reformer at heart. He implemented a series of administrative and military reforms that were crucial for maintaining control over the Inca's rapidly expanding territories. These reforms included restructuring the army and introducing a new level of bureaucracy that ensured loyalty and efficiency within the newly acquired lands. With Pachacuti's ingenuity, the Inca civilization not only expanded in territory but also in cultural and architectural richness. Topa Inca Yupanqui, taking the reins in 1471, catapults the empire to its zenith. With a vision as vast as the lands he sought to control, Topa Inca embarked on military campaigns that were both ambitious and meticulously planned. His armies, composed of tens of thousands of disciplined warriors, marched across the rugged Andean landscapes, expanding Inca dominion far beyond the boundaries known to his predecessors. Under his leadership, the empire reached its peak, stretching impressively from the dusty steppes of southern Colombia to the windswept plains of southern Chile. This vast region, crisscrossed by the formidable Andes and the expansive Pacific coast, was unified under a single administrative and economic system that was revolutionary for its time. Topa Inca Yupanqui also excelled in integrating a mosaic of cultures. The empire, home to roughly 12 million people speaking around 30 different languages, thrived under a centralized government that promoted cultural exchange and linguistic integration. The use of Quechua as the lingua franca facilitated communication and governance across diverse groups. Under Topa Inca Yupanqui's rule, the Inca Empire became the largest empire in pre-Columbian America, a testament to their formidable power and organization. Though the Spanish conquest in 1533 marked the end of the Inca Empire, its influence endures in modern culture. Hidden deep in the mountains, indigenous communities preserve not only the Inca language, Quechua, but also their ancient agricultural and weaving techniques. Globally, Machu Picchu draws millions 
enchanted by the enduring trails and architectural feats of the Inca. Words like quinoa, llama, and poncho have traveled far from their Andean origins, embedding themselves in languages worldwide. From ancient engineering marvels to everyday language, the legacy of the Inca civilization continues to weave its rich tapestry into the fabric of modern life.